In this video, I'm going to show you how to sort an array from least to greatest using insertion sort. Step 1. We put A on the second element of the array. B is 3. Since 3 is less than 4, we simply swap them. And then we repeat this process. We put A on the next element of the array. B is 1. 1 is less than 4, so we swap them. 1 is less than 3, so we swap them. So you see, we're just bringing the smaller number in front. We repeat this process and A goes on to the next element. B is 2. 2 is smaller than 4, so we swap them. 2 is smaller than 3, so we swap them. 2 is not smaller than 1, so 2 stays where it is. And now the array is sorted. Let's take a look at the code. So we take in our list or our array, which is L, and N is the length of the list. So we put A onto the second element. Here is index 1, which would be the second element, and it goes to the end of the list. We put B wherever A is at, and then what happens in this part is that if the number that B is at is smaller than the number to the left, then we swap that number and the number to the left, and we move B down. And why is b larger than 0? Well, if b is equal to 0, then b is trying to look at the number to the left, right? Which would be index out of bounds. So that's why b has to be strictly greater than 0. Here is a test case, and this will print out 1, 2, 3, 4. The average and worst cases are n squared because there are two loops. And the best case is n. Why is that? Because when the array is already sorted, a would just go through the list and it does not make any swap to the beginning, right? So that would just be traversing through an array and that's n. And insertion store does not create any space, so it is all of one. And the interesting thing is that bubble sort is actually the opposite of insertion sort. And that's what we're going to be talking about in the next video. So if you guys found this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe. It means a lot.